Hi, I'm Anjali from Design Squad Global. I'm here with Caleb. We're meeting with Leah, who runs Arts at the Armory. We have a project that we would love your help with. We're a community arts and cultural center. We do a ton of different events, you know, music, theater, dance, opera, comedy, poetry, classes, all sorts of stuff. So we're looking for your help to build a donation box here for our front hallway so that as people come in to see a show, to take part in a class, they have a nice easy way to donate money and support the great work that we're doing here. Tell us what you're thinking. So we need the donation box to be here in the front hallway so it's easy for people to see and to use no matter which room in the building they're going to. It needs to be mounted attached to something so that they can't just walk off with it. It needs to be strong so they can't break into it, but still easy for our staff to go in and take the money out. And the last thing is we want to be able to put different signs on it because we want to be able to swap the sign out to say what we're fundraising for. So could we put it on the piano? Yeah, as long as you find a way to attach it to the piano, that would be great. Okay, sounds great. We'll be back. Once we got our instructions, we went to Kevin Jackson's wood shop. Hi. Hey guys, what can I help you guys with today? Today what we're going to be doing is we need to make a donation box. My one bit of advice is I have a lot of stuff here. I wonder if we couldn't look around and find something that we could repurpose instead of making something from scratch. You guys can use anything you need here and uh, let's get it done. Kevin had a lot of great stuff in his shop. We found an old flower box which was perfect for repurposing. Do you want to yeah. use this? We also found some hinges, screws, and a lock. I don't think this is strong enough to hold money in. Like, we should add some more protection to yeah. it. Yeah. We can reinforce it. And we should definitely also attach a lid. Yeah, we with like definitely a slit. Need... Yeah, if we use a lid and a slit, that means people can put money in. I think we should also have a lock on this side so that people can put money in, but only the real owners with the key can take it out. We think that our first step would be to make a lid. That mm -hmm. sounds like a good plan. It seems a little weak. Do you think we should reinforce it? Maybe add some screws and blocks to it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is only attached <coughs> by staples, so we should obviously add some reinforcements to that. So we probably want to take these feet off, because they also make this box very wobbly. So. Grab some safety glasses. Kevin split the blocks off and showed us how wood is strong in some directions and weak in other directions. The you know, board has grain that goes this way, down the length of it typically, and uh, if you get started in what we call the end grain, then whatever the natural direction of the grain is, it, it'll split down that. When we make things out of wood, we try to be mindful about that. So you can see that the wood was strong going this way, but if we start to go down the length of it, we can split it really very easily. Once we measured everything, we gave Kevin our dimensions. We need a 24 inch by seven inch lid, and we need four two by fours that are five inches high. So let's get it done. So I noticed something. The grains of the blocks are going that way, while the grains of the box goes this way, making it strong in both directions. Based on what we were saying before, right, that's going to make it much stronger because we have grain running longwise in one direction and we have grain running longwise in the other direction. So we're using the grain of the wood to make it as strong as possible. Here's some hinges. After we put on the hinges, we had to figure out how to put on the removable sign. I was thinking that we could either use cork board or a whiteboard because the pro of having whiteboard is you can write whatever you want and it's easy to erase. The advantage to having cork board is that you can put up new signs every day. Cork board is good because you can use push pins and staples and you can easily remove the signs. So we went with cork board. After we cut the cork board, we glued it on with spray glue. Are you ready? Then we had Kevin cut the coin slot. We filed and sanded the donation box to make it smooth, and then it was time to bring it to the armory. Here it is. 
So you can unlock it here. You'll see that we reinforce the joints so that if somebody comes in with like a saw or a hammer, it won't easily break. And it also has a cork board. We glued it and then we screwed it. Awesome, fantastic. So let's see it in place. So what if we put it on the top? We realized the donation box was way too high. It's super high, guys. I mean, if you have a little kid who wants to put some money in, he's not going to be able to with an adult's help. So what if we were to, like, put it on the side? Yeah, I like that. You can still see any of the signs we put on the side. It's really visible when people walk in. I think that's a great idea. We removed the front of the piano and the lid and bolted the donation box to the side. So we can bolt it right onto here. We're drilling a pilot hole, which is a starter hole. And then we're gonna drill a bigger hole, which we can put this carriage bolt in to secure the box to the piano. There are drainage holes in the flower box, which are perfect for the carriage bolts to go through. There we go, that's We tightened the carriage bolts and made it really secure. Thank you so much, guys. This looks great. We made the first donations, too. Okay, good luck. Bye. Bye, Bye. Yeah. thank you so much. Arts at the Armory had a fundraiser soon after, and the donation box worked perfectly.